<clears throat> Ooh, hi Gemini, it's me G1 Writer with G1 Insights. For those of you who don't know me, welcome. You are in for a treat. This message today is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in Gemini. Guys, I have to apologize. I got caught up this month, so I was not able to really complete everyone's reading on time. So I do apologize for that. Please bear with me. This reading today, however, is going to be for the month of April going into the month of May. Okay, Gemini, your overall law of attraction energy is this. Since the law of attraction is the basis of your experience, an understanding of it is essential to live in life on purpose. In fact, an understanding of the law of attraction is essential to live in the life of joy that you came forth to live. Okay, Gemini, there's a lot of newer energy here. So, a lot of energy that is um, very vibrant, um, very new. There's a, a need for satisfaction, a need for contentment here. There is a need for stability here, okay? There's a lot going on in the home front. So whether you are coupled up or not, this could just be simply within your family at home or just um, issues going on within the home, like your finances or um, the need to kind of want to move out or someone may be moving out or someone may be moving in. Maybe you're seeking a roommate, okay? Um, this could even some of you kind of teaming up with your spouse, looking for a new home together, moving in with someone new that you love and that you deeply care for. But for a lot of you, this could be breaking away, okay? No more self-sabotaging. And I was so happy for you when this card came out because it literally confirmed with your law of attraction energy, okay? Normally, the Garden of Gate is a very beautiful card. I mean, I love it. I think it's very pretty. But also, not just because it's pretty, but um, upright, it represents someone who wants to break free, wants to get out, but they can't. They're stuck for some reason. And maybe a lot of times it's different illusions or um, insecurities or fears that keep them in bondage and keeping them from wanting to make that move or take that risk, okay? Um, but for a lot of you ear signs, love is very, very heavy this season. Love is very heavy on the brain. So for a lot of you, this could be, I mean, this came out of reverse. So for a lot of you, this is like a celebration some, somehow. Like you guys are really breaking free from self-sabotage or breaking free from this relationship that held you back or held you down for so long. Um, this is freedom. So let freedom ring. <laughs> this is, I don't want to do it anymore. I'm breaking away. Old habits, I don't want to do it anymore. I want to start new with a new spouse, a new place to live, a new town, a new me. Like, I just feel a sense of contentment coming, right? Because it hasn't been like that for a while. And now it's like, okay, I got my head on straight. Now I can focus. Now that he's out of my life, I can move on. Or now that she's, you know, doing whatever she's doing, now I can kind of get back to me. This is no longer crying over spilled milk. This is you breaking free and doing what actually brings joy and that sense of fulfillment to your life. So this is really good. This is good that you, you're breaking out because a lot of you are, again, this could be moving out, okay, home. Okay, so for a lot of you, this could be moving out or someone moving in, relocating, um, starting a new job new office, new home, a new environment around new people, okay? Gemini, you need people that around you that is going to inspire you on a much deeper level. So I feel like a lot of you are seeking a, a much uh, spiritual union. You want something where you can really bond with someone spiritually, okay? Where they understand you spiritually, they understand your intellectual mindset, and they also get you emotionally, right? Like, you need that. And this is a time where you don't have to actually be afraid of being yourself. So whoever this new person is, okay, I do feel like it's someone new in coming into your life or um, someone that is highly interested in you or someone that you're interested in, okay? I feel like whoever this new person is is definitely someone that um, 
that you can kind of basically be yourself around. You can be spiritual and intellectual and loving and spontaneous with this person. You can be that fun, loving, adventurous person that you always have been. But for some reason, when you was with this other person, you were not able to just fully be yourself. Okay? And that is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling a sense of freedom for you. Okay? Which is really good. That's interesting. A lot of you ear signs are thinking about making some type of intellectual like shifting <laughs> shifting your your mind focus aquarius reading was very similar um so guys i also see fertility here so for a lot of you this could be pregnancy um or if not then this because i know i have gemini men watching me too okay so if this is not pregnancy then again within a home environment it could be somebody that you are close to that will be pregnant or that maybe you're having conversations about whether you want children or not okay um if you do this is probably going to be the season where you know the month of april is a month where um it's a, a good month to start something so whether it kicks off right away it's still good to get it motivated to get started you know to start that new business to start that new planning uh to start that planning process so if you and someone special are having these conversations and there's nothing wrong with that right but this is a brand new season a new start and going into the month of may you will have that new moon in taurus and Uranus is also in Taurus. So this is really good when it comes to your home life, especially for those of you that have Venus in Taurus. And maybe you're a Gemini or maybe you, um, yeah, maybe you have a sun, moon, or rising in Taurus. Um, this will be really, really good for you on the home front, okay? Um, but either way, Venus is a sign that represents a lot of our love anyway. So this is overall good for us anyway, okay? Um, the other good thing is you did get true love. So for a lot of you, love is on the brain, okay? The romantic starings in your heart have propelled, oh, yes, have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. So this feeling of I can't really be my spiritual self and be in love or I can't have both. I can only either be my spiritual self, or I'm going to be in love, right? You don't have to pick and choose. For a lot of you that have been really confused about that lately or recently, especially dealing with this other person, it was like really, really um, dampening your spirit, right? You don't have to pick and choose what type of person you want to be. I mean, you can choose, of course, but in other words, like you don't have to pick and choose whether you want to be in love and spiritual or if you want to just be spiritual or if you just want to be in love and not spiritual. Like you don't have to choose choose between your spirituality and being happy like this is a clear clear energy here that yes you can be yourself with this person whoever this new person is the universe is saying go for it take that risk and i see you doing just that i see you having that sense of freedom like yes i'm going after what i want and nobody's gonna stop me Okay, so on the home front, whatever new projects or new ideas that you are, you know, metaphorically giving birth to, okay, yes, now is the perfect time to do so. If you are thinking about moving and getting away and starting something new or moving into a new town or new area or even a new state, for some of you, it's even a new country, right? So whatever this is, I just want you to know that the universe is giving you the okay, Yes, go for it, you know. Um, this is a perfect season to start up anything that you want to do. Anything that really motivates you, do it, okay. Do not, you don't have to be afraid of what people are going to say, how people are going to judge you, okay. You are going into a place where there's a lot of support, there's a lot of love, okay. There's a lot of, I feel like I just heard division recently or in the past somehow there were a lot of division because of this person they brought a lot of division in your home like a lot of drama a lot of chaos um mm. whoever this person was like they are very vindictive um for some of you this person could even be um very manipulative as well stay away from that person like i feel like you yes i just feel a lot of you are like look i had enough i'm done i'm good like 
I got this. I'm ready to move forward because your energy is weighing me down. When I got people over here cheering me on, you over here knocking me down. And I see, I feel like a lot of you know that. So whether this is in love or a work-related issue, it doesn't matter. And I, it's interesting because I felt this same similar energy for you in the month of March. Like you guys are like, look, no, enough is enough. Like I'm done. Please check out your partial video, guys. If you did not check out Air Signs partial video, the Gemini, Aquarius, and uh, Libra partial video, please watch that before you watch this. I mean, I should have said that first, but you might want to pause this <laughs> and go watch that and then come back and look at this. I'm telling you, your energy was dead on, okay? That So whatever it is, that whatever fears you had that was surrounding you, making you feel like you are inadequate, making you feel like you're not successful enough, making you feel that you're not incredible enough, you are and you are fantastic and you know how intellectual you are and you know how spiritual you are so you cannot keep allowing people to put things into your head and making you feel like you are not enough you are okay and gemini but the thing is this if you don't believe that then nobody will you get what i'm saying so this is the time you really got to kind of pull yourself together pull yourself together okay so but again on the home front there's going to be some changes a lot of changes a lot of changes. Someone moving in, someone moving out. But your household situation is improving um, either through a move or a healthy change in one of the occupants, okay? So somebody is making some type of change. Somebody is like, look, I'm about to paint my house. I don't like this color. It's whack on my energy. I want red instead. Like, I just see a lot of you just changing either your appearance. Um, you're changing something. You you might be changing your appearance, changing the type of way that you like to dress. You may be changing your hairstyle, um, doing another color. <laughs> you may be dressing different. You may find yourself um, being a bit more um, into your appearance. And normally, I feel like normally you are um, too into the material world and worldly obsessions, but this season for you is more about, you're taking a more methodical approach to life, right? Like you're being more practical about things. Um, you're like, no, I should wear this today. This is really tacky and, you know, I want to make a big impression, so maybe I should wear this. Like I just feel like you want to step your game up. And that's really good. That's really, really good, okay? So what I'm going to do is elaborate a bit more when it comes to your life. And Oh, 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 no, come on, don't do this to me. I don't feel like you're not. Okay, oh, all right. Hold on. Ah! <laughs> it's my butt in the air. <laughs> okay, let's do, sorry guys, it fell like all the way over there. Okay, so let's do this. Overall energy, once again, for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Who's Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Or oh, Venus and Gemini. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, woo, I just feel so new. Oh my God, like air signs are killing it this season. Yes, yes, yes. I just feel like you guys are coming into like, nope, new me, new attitude, new things. I don't got time for nothing that's trying to hold me back. Like, yes, yes, you better raise your confidence, okay? You better raise your vibrations, absolutely let's see what else gemini got going on for the month of april going into may this is for gemini sun moon and rising or venus and gemini guys please check your sun moon and rising sign because for each and every one of you this message is going to be a bit different um sometimes when you check your sun sign if it doesn't resonate you may have to check your rising um or your venus sign okay I always recommend that because it's, it's very crucial to your um, overall messages, okay? But something is definitely happening in the home front. I don't know who's having a baby or or, or what, but I just see a something new, like a new birth of something. And this could just be a new birth of you, you know, a new, a new start, you know? But it's definitely something new. It could be a new home, moving in with somebody, new relationship, okay? Someone new coming in. That's somebody who can totally relate to you on every single level. This is cool, man. All right, let's see Gemini's. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at this. Do you see the synchronicity? Look. Look, 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 look. Walking away. Oh, my God. Look at this. 
Do you see what I'm saying, Gemini? Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Look. Yes, yes, yes. My energy was correct. You guys are walking away. So you're walking away from this relationship, walking away from this person, walking away from this environment. It's totally toxic. It's totally negative. Yes, yes, yes. You are walking the, away. You don't have time for the BS. You don't have time for the drama. You don't have time for the annoyance. You don't have time for the disrespect. You don't have time for the negativity. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Some of you are walking away, Gemini, okay? Wow, that is crazy. Something is changing on the home front. Guys, what is it? What the hell? What is it? Oh my God, you better drop in the comments below. What the hell that mean? You better fill me in. I want to know. I don't want to hear it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, yep. I was just trying to read so I could confirm my feelings because I know I'm not crazy. I felt it. Some of you are like, no, I want something new. Fertility, listen, Goddess Astera is not totally about just fertility or having kids. It's not about that. This is a change that is happening on the home front or within a relationship or a job, okay? And this is, even if this is work related, honey, I did, like I said, I see new office. For a lot of you, this is a new office. This is a new home, a new relationship, a new person. I don't know, and it could be a new a new baby, I mean, okay, but each and every one of you is going to play out differently, but only you know what is happening, dear love, go ahead, this is the perfect season to do it, don't wait until Mercury, go, Mercury retrograde happens again, I mean, we have Saturn and Pluto going retrograde this month, but that's happening in Capricorn, so that means that, yeah, with that teamed up with that Libra full moon happening on the 23rd or 24th, give or take a day, yes, that means it's going to be mind-blowing energy. Look, I made it my mind. I'm done. I'm serious. I'm no longer sabotaging myself. I'm out of this. You can have it. You can have the house. Fuck it. Take the car. Just leave me the fuck alone. Like, <laughs> I just feel like, look, have whatever you want. Just leave me the hell alone, okay? You want the money? Fine. Take the money. I can always make more money. Like, I just see a lot of you just talking big shit. Like, look, I'm done, okay? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I just got hot. Listen, I'm serious, Gemini. Okay, all jokes inside. Let's get serious. All jokes inside. Calm down, G1. Okay, so what I'm saying is there's going to be some changes. Uh, some of you, if not all of you, are definitely walking away from something. Okay, so comment below. You better let me know because I want to know. I need to know. Okay, true love. Yes, yes, yes. Somebody's walking away and walking into something greater. Hello. I mean, who the hell would not want to have all this? Uh, yes. And then on the home front, too, there's definitely a lot of changes. You got a lot of you are packing, packing, packing. Guys, I don't care what your sun, moon, and rising sign is, or maybe you're just a visitor. Maybe you're dating a Gemini. I'm sorry I got hype. Whatever. If you're dating a Gemini, I hate to break it to you. They're walking away from something, okay? Whether it's a relationship, <laughs> they may be walking away from old habits, an old job, a job that they can't stand. Just for the sake of their spirituality, for the sake of their own happiness, that is such a beautiful fucking thing. So if you might be dating a Gemini or you may have Gemini within your birth chart somehow, whatever, okay, whatever it is, some of you need to let go of some stuff. Okay, and this, again, it could be an old habit, something that once held you back, old insecurities. It could be walking away the gate of the garden, whatever that card is, what does it say? The garden and the gate and walking away. Th these are two same energies, guys. So it could be you and your spouse deciding, look, let's just call it quits, right? Like, we're not getting along. It's not working out. Like, let's just not do this anymore, right? Like, a lot of you are really calling the shots. You're like, nope, I'm not doing this anymore. Let ooh, ooh, God, let's get one more. All right, let's get one more. Can we get one more? Show me Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus and Gemini. Woo! On fire, baby. I'm going to title your video that. 
on fire. Wow. Seven chakra. You better come on out. Seven chakra. You better come on out. Use your intuition. Like I said, this is a spiritual season for you. Rely on your spirituality. Rely on your intuition. Do not allow self-doubt and fear to override you at this moment because, honey, you are on the verge of creating something fantastic. You are on the verge of starting something new. A new project, a new you, new home, something is and it's coming and it's coming quick okay so yeah that's it gemini i'm done your energy was like slow and then it got heated up real fast Woo! you you gotta share this message around the world my love please like share and subscribe comment below i love you as always because you're so fucking dope okay but this message today was amazing i mean it went from and uh to wow <laughs> on fire baby i'm titling i'm titling your video on fire yes you are on fire this season gemini i love you have a good week or a good time good month or wherever you are in this beautiful universe thank you bye bye